みなさん、こんにちは。お久しぶりです。Welcome to Nihongo. お元気ですか ?I hope you are doing well.This is the continuation of the みなの日本語 series for beginners.So, we will now move to the intermediate level or entry level grammar expressions.In this video, we will learn about the following grammar points. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more lessons like this. If you want to support this channel even more, please consider becoming my patron through my Patreon page where you can get um, lesson PDF, um, flashcard reviews for vocabularies, and also um, answers for the practice questions um, in this lesson. And to my Patreons, thank you so much, Hontoni Arigato Gozaimas, for your continued support. はい、今日はいろいろ勉強しますので、準備できたら始めましょう。Our first grammar pattern is 何々でもらえませんかでいただけませんかでもらえないでしょうかでいただけないでしょうか They all mean the same thing. They're just basically more polite way of saying 何々ください So this pattern is used when politely asking someone to do something. So if you remember, we learned about 何々いただけませんか from lesson 26. This is the A more polite way of saying nani nani kudasai or please do something for me. For example, yarikata ga wakaranai n desu ga o s h e t e itadakimasen ka? I don't know how to do it. Could you please tell me or could you please teach me? So, how do we use this pattern? We use the verb te form and then we add morai masen, itadakimasen ka, morai nai de shoka or itadakinai de shoka. So, like I said, it just basically means would you mind, could you possibly, or can you please do this for me? For example, Leopoldo さん荷物を下ろすのを手伝ってもらえませんか So, it means Leopoldo, can you please help me unload my luggage? So, here, Our verb is to help, which is tetsudaimasu. So here we change it to te form. Tetsudatte, and then followed by muraimasen ka. So can you please、uh, help me? Another example Timu san, kono shurui no kakikata o oshete muraimasen de shoka. Tim could be someone that you really respect and you want to talk to、uh, him politely. So, Tim, could you please tell me how to write this document? So, here our verb is to tell or oshemas. So, we change it to te form. Oshete. And then followed by morainai de shoka. Could you please tell me? Another example. Veritas sensei, watashita chi no kekon shiki de speech o shite itadake nai de shoka. Miss Veritas, would you mind giving a speech at our wedding? So here the verb is to give a speech. Speech o shimas. In this case, we change shimas to shite and then we add. いただけないでしょうか Okay, would you mind giving a speech? The word you can use really depends on who you are talking to. But they all、uh, basically mean the same thing. Okay, next. So now let's try using the pattern verb te form and then もらいませんかいただけませんかもらえないでしょうか So, try the following 
sentences number one number two and number three so here i gave you an example the verb is oshemas sumimasen kono kanji no yomikata wo chotto oshie so oshemas becomes oshiete itadake nai de shouka okay so you can change this part you can use moraimasen ka or morainai de shouka so it's up to you so, for example, number one verb is check shimas. Souza sense nihongo de repoto o kakimashita ga machigai ga nai ka dou ka nani nani. Number two, the verb is oshemas. Kamiru senpai nihonji no uchi ni shoutai saretan desu ga dona omiyage ga ii ka nani nani. And last number three, azukarimas. Shibaraku fusu ni suru no de nimotsu ga todoitara nani nani. Our second pattern is nani nani no you da, nani nani no you na, nani nani no you ni. Nani nani yo is also another grammar point that we've already learned. This appeared in lesson 47. Nani nani yo des, which means it seems that. Nani nani. So this is when the speaker is making judgment based on what they are seeing at the moment. For example, seki deru shi, atama mo itai. Kaze o hita yo da. I have a cough and a headache. It seems that I caught a cold. So first, we will focus on the nani nani no yo da. Da can be this. So that is just the plain form of this or the casual form. How to use this? We have noun 1, wa as the topic, noun 2 plus no yoda. So this just means noun 1 is like noun 2. So we are describing noun 1 to be just like noun 2. For example, okay so here our noun 1 is the hospital or byoin and then our noun 2 is the hotel. So we are just saying that the hospital is like a hotel. So here we have Byoin wa hoteru no yo des or hoteru no yo da. It's like a hotel. So I just added kire de kire or clean and de is um, and. Okay, so we are describing the hospital to be clean and it's like a hotel. Byoin wa hoteru no yo desu. Okay. Next example. Kono osake wa maru de ringo juice no yo da. This cocktail or this alcohol tastes just like apple juice. So here the noun one is osake wa. Uh, the topic marker wa. And then we compare it to apple juice, ringo juice. And then no yoda. So here we're just basically saying kono osake wa ringo juice no yoda. This cocktail tastes like apple juice. Okay, marude means just. Okay, this cocktail tastes just like apple juice. Next is nani nani no yo na. Okay, so um, before we use nani nani no yo da, now we use nani nani no yo na and then followed by a noun. So here we have noun 1 plus no yo na plus noun 2. Okay, this basically means noun 2 like noun 1. So we are describing noun 2 to be like noun 1. For example, Haha wa itsu mo genki de akarukute taiyo no yona hito desu. My mother is always energetic, bright, and like a sun. Okay, so we only need to focus on this part. Taiyo no yona hito desu. So we are describing our mother or the person. As someone to be like the sun. Okay, so 
a person like a sun. Okay, so in this case, like a sun. Okay, so uh, we are talking about the mother. Next example. Venetia no yo na machi ga suki desu. Rekishi ga atte omoshiroi desu kara. I like towns like Venice. It has a history and interesting. So we only need to focus here. Venetia no yo na machi ga suki desu. So we are just saying that we like a town. So this is noun 2. That is like Venice. Okay? A town like Venice. Venezia no yona machi ga suki desu. I like towns like Venice. Now, moving to our third one, which is nani nani no yo ni. So we have noun plus no yo ni, verb or adjective. So this means to do something like a noun or as adjective as a noun. Okay, it has two um, meanings. So let's take a look at some examples. Here we have Kare wa kodomo no yo ni naita. He cried like a child. So here our um, noun is kodomo. And then we have no yo ni. And then we have the verb nakimas or to cry. So here we use the past tense, naita. Okay? So here we have to cry like a child. Kodomo no yo ni naita. Okay? To do something like a noun. Okay? Another example. Ie wa oshiro no yo ni oki desu. The house is as big as a castle. So here we are using adjective, which is oki. Okay? Big, oki. And um, we are saying that it's as big as a castle. So, oshiro, castle. Okay? Here. Oshiro no yo ni oki. Okay? As big as a castle. Okay. So, uh, let's try. So, using the three patterns. Noun 1 wa, noun 2, no yo da. Noun 1, no yo na, noun 2. Noun 1, no yo ni, verb or adjective. Here, I give you an example. Ano mizu umi, lake, oki, big, and then umi a sea or the ocean. Uh, you can use any of the following. Here, example is, Ano mizu umi wa oki kute maru de umi no yo desu. So this means that that lake is big and just like the ocean. Another example, Ano mizu umi wa maru de umi no yo ni oki desu. So here we are using the third pattern, which means that the lake is just as big as the ocean. Okay, so now try number one using niwa. Hiroi, koen. So garden, um, big or spacious, and then park. Number two, musume san wa, um, your daughter. Kawaii, cute. Ningyo, doll. And number three, yama no ue kara mita keshiki. So the scenery from the top of the mountain, plus kire, beautiful, and then up a picture. Again, the answers will be available on my Patreon page. The third grammar pattern that we will um, learn is nani nani koto wa, wa or ga or o. So here we are using three particles, either wa, ga, or Nani nani koto is also something we've learned from lesson 18. For example, piano hiku koto ga dekimasu. I can play the piano. Another example is shumi wa eiga o meru koto desu. My hobby is watching movies. 
So adding koto turns a verb into a gerund and it also um, nominalizes the verb. So how to use it? We have verb in dictionary form or plain form and then we add koto. So it depends on the sentence whether we will use wa, ga, or o. So adding koto to a verb makes it um, into a gerund or it nominalizes the verb. So meaning verb ing, ing, or to verb, okay? And we use it as a noun in a sentence. So here is an example. Wakai toki ni yugaku suru koto wa ii keike ni naru to omoimasu. I think studying abroad is a good experience when you are young. So we only need to focus here. Yugaku suru koto studying abroad so here we have the verb um yugaku suru or to study here study and then we make it into a noun so we add koto studying so here we are using it as a topic in a sentence so we are using the particle wa i think studying abroad is Next example. I service wo suru tame ni wa okyak sama no kimochi wo kangaeru koto ga taisetsu desu. It is important to think the feelings of our customers in order to provide a good service. So here we only need to focus on this part. It is important to think. So, um, kangaeru. So to think, here we have the verb. Kangaimas, we change it to plain form or we use the dictionary form kangaeru. Think. Okay, and then we add koto. But this time we are using particle ga. So it means to think. Okay, kangaeru koto ga, to think. Okay, next example we have tsugi no taikai de katsu koto o. Mezashite gambatte imas. I am working hard to win the next tournament. Okay, here we need to focus on to win or kachimas. Here we have kachimas. Plain or dictionary form is katsu, followed by koto o. Okay, to win. Okay. Mezashite means to aim at. So we are aiming at winning. Katsu koto wo mezashite gambatte imasu. The next pattern is nani nani o nani nani to you. This pattern is used when telling someone the name of a thing or an event. So we have noun one o noun two to imasu. So this means noun 1 is called noun 2. So let's take a look at some examples. Shogatsu ni taberu ryori o nan to imasu ka? What do you call the food that you eat on New Year's Day? So here we have our noun 1. Shogatsu ni taberu ryori. And then our noun 2 which is unknown. So we say nani. Okay, so, o to imasu ka? Shogatsu ni taberu ryori o nan to imasu ka? Okay, the answer is, osechi ryori to imasu. It's called osechi ryori. So here, it's is actually this one. So you can say that, shogatsu ni taberu ryori o Osechi to imas. So that's the long version. So we have noun to to imas. Okay, another example. Shogatsu ni jinja ya otera ni iku koto o. So going to shrines and temples. Visiting the shrine or temple on New Year's Day is called Hatsumode. Hatsumode to Imas. Okay, so here we have noun 
one which is this one okay and then our noun two is hatsumode to imas okay so here this is the noun noun one and then this is noun two okay so um again shogatsu ni jinja ya otera ni iku koto wo hatsumode to imasu so visiting the shrine or temple on new year's day is called hatsumode okay let's try using the pattern noun one o noun two to imasu so i give you an example tatami no heya wo nan to imasu ka so what do you call a tatami room? So we say washitsu or Japanese room. So tatami no heya wo washitsu to imasu. Okay, so very basic. Just like this. We just replace noun 1 and noun 2. So using the same pattern, try the following um, um, sentence practice. Number 1. Suwaru toki sukao chisai futon wo nan to imasu ka? Zabuton. Number two. Tatami ya yuka no ue ni kitchen to suwaru koto wo nan to imasu ka? Seiza. And then number three. Aisatsu no toki atama o sageru koto wo nan to imasu ka? Ojigi. Okay, more practice sentences. Number four. Kore wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka? So what do you call this in Japanese? Kore wa eigo de nan to imasu ka? What do you call this in English? Kore wa anata no kuni no kotoba de nan to imasu ka? What do you call this in your native language? So comment down below what you call this in your native language. Okay? Our fifth grammar point is nani nani to you nani nani. So this is used to quote the name of a thing or a person that the listener or reader may not know about. So how do we use this? We have noun 1, proper noun, toyu, noun 2, or the common noun. So basically it means noun 2, named or called noun 1. For example, Dan Brown toyu sakka wo shiteimasu ka? Do you know the writer named Dan Brown? So here we just need to focus here. The writer named Dan Brown. Dan Brown to you, Saka. So here we have the proper noun, which is Dan Brown, and then followed by to you, and then our common noun, which is the writer, Saka. So the writer named or called Dan Brown. Okay, here we have a. Da Vinci Code wo kaita hito desu ne? Yes, the one who wrote Da Vinci Code, right? Another example. Downton Abbey toyu terebi drama ga suki desu. I like the TV drama called Downton Abbey. So here we have the proper noun which is the name of the TV show, Donton Abbey. Okay, and then followed by Toyu, and then our common noun, Terebi Drama. Okay, so the TV drama called Donton Abbey. Okay, Donton Abbey Toyu Terebi Drama ga suki desu ka? Okay, let's try using the pattern noun 1, proper noun, toyu, noun 2. So here I give you an example. Rusuchu ni denwa ga arimashita ka? When I was away, uh, did someone call me? Here we have piripusan, or the noun 1, a proper noun, and kata, person. This is the common noun. So using the pattern, we say, hai, piripusan. Toyu kata kara denwa ga arimashita. Yes, there was a call from the person named Mr. Philip. 
。Okay, try number one. 今年の忘年会はどこでするんですか We have the proper noun, uotami, the name of the shop, and shop, mise. Okay, so write your answer here. Next, number two. 図書館で何か本を借りましたか We have the Raymond and Home book. Okay, はい、何々を借りました。Number three. 風邪ですか薬を買ってきましょうか We have a b u f f e r i n the name of the medicine, and medicine, 薬。Okay, here. 何々をお願いします。Our sixth grammar point is いつ、どこ、なん、だれ、どんなに、何々でも、or でも。So we have here question words or、um, interrogative words such as when, where, what, and who. Okay, how do we use this? So using the interrogative words, Followed by a verb in te form, e adjective in kute form. So to do that, we remove e and we add kute. And then we add mo. So it's te mo. So verb te mo, e adjective kute mo. But for na adjectives, we have the na plus de. So it becomes na adjective de mo. And also for nouns, we add demo, followed by the main sentence. Okay, so this means whenever, wherever, whatever, whoever, however, or no matter what. For example, Watashi wa sekaiju doko ni itte mo kazoko no koto wo wasure masen. Wherever I am in the world, I never forget my family. So here we need to focus here. Doko ni itte mo. So here we have the question word where. Doko or doko ni. And then to be in. Imas, which is,、uh, we use that te form. So imas becomes itte. And then we add mo. Okay, here. Okay, so this basically means wherever I am. Wherever I am. Doko ni itte mo, kazoko no koto o wasure masen. Okay, another example. Kare wa nando kitte mo, onaji koto o shika oshete kure nai. No matter how many times I ask, they only tell me the same thing. Okay, we need to focus here. Kite mo, anando kite mo. So, no matter how many times. So, how many times is nando? And then the verb is to ask, or here, kikimas. So, we have te form. Kite, and then we add mo. So, Nando kite mo, no matter how many times I ask. Okay, another example. Chichi wa nanto itte mo, kangae o kaimasen. My father won't change his opinion no matter what I say. So, no matter what I say. Nanto So here we have the question what, whatever I say. Verb is imas. So imas becomes itte mo. Okay? Nanto itte mo. No matter what I say. Another example. Donna ni takakute mo kaitai des. I want to buy it regardless of how expensive it might be or no matter how expensive. So here we are using e adjective which is takai. So here we have the question donna ni how 
And then the adjective takai, we change it to takakute, and then we add mo. Donna ni takakute mo. Regardless or no matter how expensive. Next example, donna hito de mo. Yashashi kokoro wo motteru hazu da. I'm convinced that everyone, whoever he may be, has a kind heart. So, whoever he may be. So, here um, we use donna, no matter what kind of person. So, basically, donna, kind of person. Donna, and then we have the noun, hito. So, hito, since it's a noun, we add demo. Donna hito demo. Um, whatever kind of person he may be. Okay, or whoever he may be. Next, shogatsu ni naruto doko no jinja demo. Hito de ippai da. When New Year arrives, shrines everywhere are packed with people. So here we need to focus here. Doko no jinja demo. So here we have the question word doko. Okay. Doko no. And then we have the noun jinja. So since it's a noun, we use demo. Okay, so when New Year arrives, shrines everywhere are packed with people. So basically, doko no jinja demo. Um, um, wherever shrines you go. So basically, that's um, the meaning of it. Wherever shrine you go, doko no jinja demo. Hito ga or hito de ippai da. It's full of people. And last example. Donna ni ripa na hito demo ketten wa arimas. No matter how wonderful a person is, he or she has a weakness. Okay? So, no matter how wonderful. So, we focus here. Donna ni ripa na hito. Okay? Donna ni. So, whatever kind of person, um, or how, no matter how wonderful. So, here we have, um, a na adjective, ripa na, ripa na, wonderful or praiseworthy person. And then we have the noun, ripa na hito. Here, we are describing the person, ripa na hito. And then, demo. Donna ni ripa na hito demo, ketten, he or she has a, a weakness or a bad point. Okay, let's try. So, using the pattern, uh, here is an example. Urosu-san ni renraku shimashita ka? Have you contacted Mr. Uros, Urosu? Or Uros? Um, here we have the verb denwa o kakemas. So, here is an example. Iie, mada desu. No, I haven't. Itsu denwa o kakete mo rusunan desu. So, itsu... When so whenever I call him, Rusu is to be away. He's always away. Okay, whenever I call him, he's out or he's away. So here, number one, try it. Ano ega wa sankai mo mimashita. So mimas is to watch a movie. Watashi wa gokai mimashita. Nankai nani nani omoshiroi desu. Number two. Niji sugi na no ni konde imasu ne. Here we have the verb kimas. E kono mise wa itsu nani nani konde imasu. Number three. Arusu daisu san no jusho wa wakarimashita ka? Here we have a uh, kikimas or to ask. Iie dari ni nani nani wakarimasen. Our seventh grammar point is nani nani janakute nani nani. How to use? We have noun one, janakute, noun two. So it means noun two, not noun one. So it's noun two, not noun one. Okay? 
For example, so if you're a Harry Potter fan, you would know this. Leviosa janakte. Leviosa. Leviosa, not Leviosa. So if you know this line, good for you. Okay, so here we have our noun one, this one, Leviosa. And then Janakute. And then we have noun two, Leviosa. Okay. <laughs> So we just he or she is just saying that this is how you pronounce it. Okay. Another example, A san or person A says Jinja toka otera toka like shrine or temple. Uh, and then person B says Soyu tokoro janakute Putsu no hito de Fudan Seka Tushteru Heyaga in this not that those not those places but a room where ordinary people usually live so here we have so you tokoro so he's referring to um shrines and temples followed by janakute so not those types of places but i'm looking for a normal where normal uh, people usually live. Teru, teru heya. Okay. So noun one janakete noun two. Okay. So I'm looking for um, where a place where ordinary people live, not uh, those kinds of places. Our eighth grammar point is nani nani no da or nani nani no de wa nai. It, uh, how to use this? We have the verb in plain form or e adjective, um, and then na adjective nouns na plus no da or no de wanai for the negative. So this means a reason or sentence one. So that's why this is the result, sentence two. So because of sentence one, the result is sentence two. Okay, for example. Michi ga kondeiru kitto osoko ni naru no da. So the traffic is bad. I'm sure it'll be late. Okay, so here we have the sentence one. The reason is the road or the traffic is very bad. So the result would be for sure kitto osoko ni naru no da. Okay, so here we have the verb to be late. Osoi. So Osoku, osoko ni narimas. So it becomes osoko ni naru, followed by noda. That's why, that's why it will be late. That's why it will be late because the traffic is bad. Or that's why I'll be late because the traffic is bad. Another example, kare wa nihon de hatarakimasu. Okay, he is going to work in Japan. Dakara nihongo o benkyo shiteru no desu. Okay, that's why he is learning Japanese. So here we have the verb benkyo shiteimasu. So it becomes benkyo shiteru. So he is learning or studying at the moment. Okay, no desu. So here we have, um, because he is going to work in Japan, that's why he is studying Japanese. Okay? Nihongo benkyo shiteru no da. Or no desu. So, no da is just the plain form, and no, de no desu is the normal form, or the um, polite form. Another example, ie wo kaimasen, I'm not going to buy a house, takai no da, because it's expensive, okay? So here we have um, e adjective, so we have takai, and then we just add no da, because it's expensive, or nedan ga takai, ie wo kaimasen. 
Our next grammar point or our last grammar point is Nanin mo, nankai mo, nammai mo. So we have the nan or what plus the counter such as uh, for people we have nin for many times or number of times we have kai and for flat objects we have mai followed by mo. So this just means a large number or a large amount of something. For example, nanin mo narande mateimasu. There are a lot of people waiting in line. So, a lot of people. Nanin. So, we have the counter nin for people. Okay? Nanin followed by mo. So, this means um, um, a large amount of people. Another example. Nankai mo denwa o shimashita ga dare mo demasen. I've called many times but no one is answering. So, no matter how many times I called, no one is answering. So here we have nankai mo. Many times. No matter how many times or how many times I called. Hi! Otsukare sama deshita. Kyo no lesson wa dou desu ka? Kono lesson wa yaku ni tatta ra like button o oshite kudasai. Moshi comment to ka shisumon ga areba zei shita ni. I hope you learned something today. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future lessons. I will see you in the next one. Mata ne!